किडियान 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 सपनों की उड़ान हाय फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अमृता एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर चैनल किडियान सपनों की उड़ान वी आर हियर टू गिव विंग्स टू योर इमेजिनेशन सो किड्स आर यू रेडी टू फ्लाई लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Today we will hear story of an elephant named Kanchi. There lived a man in Chapa. He was called Mr. Thapa. He had a fruit shop. Fall elo fall. Meeti meeti fall. In this fruit shop there were apples, oranges, mangoes, bananas, grapes pineapples watermelons and lots of other fruits are kuch to le lo koi to le lo meri phal every day kanchi the elephant went to the river to take a bath she always stopped by the fruit shop she did not go away until mr thapa gave her a banana Mrs Thapa did not like this. She was an unkind woman. One day Mr Thapa was not at his shop. Mrs Thapa was sitting at the shop. Fall elo fall. Meeti meeti fall. Can't she came and waited for her banana. Mrs Thapa instead of giving her any banana drove her away with a stick Kanchi was angry she went to the river and had her bath Then she filled her trunk with water she went back to the fruit shop She splashed Mrs Thapa with the water. Mrs Thapa was wet all over and started crying. What do we learn from the story kids? We should never misbehave with anyone. If you misbehave with anyone else, other will also mistreat you. One day, an elephant was walking in the forest in search of friends. He saw a monkey on a tree. "Will you be my friend?" asked the elephant. "You are too big. You cannot swing from trees like me," replied the monkey. "You are too big. You cannot swing from trees to trees like me." Next, the elephant met a rabbit. He asked him to be his friends. Will you be my friend? But the rabbit said, "You are too big to play in my burrow." "You are too big. You can't play in my burrow." Then the elephant met a frog. "Will you be my friend?" "Will you be my friend?" he asked. "How can I?" asked the frog. You are too big to jump like me. You are too big to leap about like me. The elephant was upset. He met a fox next. "Will you be my friend?" he asked the fox. The fox said, "Sorry sir, you are too big."
The next day the elephant saw all the animals in the forest running for their lives. The elephant asked them what the matter was. The bear replied, "There is a tiger in the forest. He is trying to gobble us all up." All animals ran away to hide. The elephant wondered what he could do to save everyone in the forest. Meanwhile, the tiger kept eating up whoever he could find. The elephant walked up to the tiger and said, Please Mr Tiger do not eat up these poor animals Mind your own business growled the tiger The elephant had no choice but to give the tiger a hefty kick The frightened tiger ran for his life elephant came back into the forest to announce the good news to everyone all the animals thanked the elephant they said you are just the right size to be our friend you are just the right size to be our friend moral of the story a friend in need is a friend indeed Hello kids. Today's story is about a sly fox and the little red hen. Once upon a time there was a little red hen which lived alone in the woods. Just above the mountain there lived a sly and crafty old fox with his mother. The sly fox would plan and plan how to lay his hands on the little red hen and make her his meal. After a lot of thinking, he got an idea. He told his mother to keep the water pot boiling. I'm going to red hen's house. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. He quietly slipped into the hen's snug house and hid behind the door. When the red hen saw the fox, she quickly fluttered up to the beam and perched herself there. The fox said, "I'll bring you down in a moment." He started whirling around faster, chasing his tail. Red hen got dizzy and fell down onto the floor. The fox immediately put her into his bag. You've got a nice place here, red hen. The little red hen thought it was the end of her and passed out. The fox carried her on his back and started climbing the mountain. On his way up he got tired and thought of resting for a while. While he was resting under the tree, inside the bag the red hen put her hand in her pocket and fished out her scissors. She cut a hole in the bag, slipped out quietly and put a big stone in the bag. After stitching the cut carefully she ran for life as fast as she could The silly fox got up and started walking home He said to himself 
how heavy the hen has become. I'll have a great supper. When he reached home, he asked his mother, "Mother, have you kept the pot with boiling water ready?" Mother replied, "Yes, my darling son." Great. I have a surprise for dinner. He asked his mother to help him open the bag and put him in the boiling pot. As the mother removed the lid, the sly fox emptied the bag into the pot. As he did so, the heavy stone splashed hot water on both mother and the son. Both were severely burned and died. The red hen returned home and lived happily thereafter. Later everyone in the jungle heard this news and was happy to hear that selfish fox died. Everyone said to each other, he paid for his own deeds. Good that he's gone. We all can live peacefully now. Hello Munchkins. Today we will hear a very famous and interesting story of three little pigs. This is a story about two silly pigs and one very clever pig. Once upon a time, there was a mother pig who had three little pigs. The three little pigs grew so big that their mother said to them, "My dear kids, you are too big to live here any longer. This place is small for all of us. You must go and build houses for yourselves." But take care that the wolf does not catch you. The three little pigs hugged their mom and left their house. Bye bye. Bye bye. We will take care that the wolf does not catch us. They said to each other. Along the way, they met a man who was carrying some straw. Uncle, uncle, will you please give me some straw? Asked the first little pig, who was the youngest brother. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, why not? Said the man, and he gave the first little pig some straw. Then he built himself a house of straw. He was very pleased with his house. He said. Now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I shall build a stronger house than yours," said the second little pig. "I shall build a stronger house than yours too," said the third little pig. The second little pig and the third little pig went on along the road. Soon they met a man who was carrying some sticks. "Uncle, uncle." Will you please give me some sticks? asked the second little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, why not? said the man, and he gave the second little pig some sticks. The second little pig built himself a house of sticks. It was stronger than the house of straw. The second little pig was very pleased and happy with his house. He said, Now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I shall build a stronger house than yours," said the third little pig. The third little pig walked on along the road by himself. Soon he met a man carrying some bricks. "Uncle, will you please give me some bricks?" asked the third little pig. "I want to build a house for myself." Yes, why not? Please take some," said the man, and he gave the third little pig some bricks. Then the third little pig built himself a house of bricks. 
it took him 7 days to build his house once it was built it was the strongest house out of all the third little pig was very happy with his house he said now the wolf won't catch me and eat me the next day the wolf came along the road he came to the house of straw which the first little pig had built when the first little pig saw the wolf coming he ran inside his house and shut the door the wolf knocked on the door and said little pig little pig let me come in no no said the little pig by the hair of my chinny chin chin i will not let you come in then i'll huff and i'll puff and i'll blow your house in said the wolf so he puffed and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed <sighs> the house of straw fell down the first little pig ran fastly towards second little pig's house and hid himself there the big bad wolf is coming the next day the wolf walked further along the road he came to the house of sticks which the second little pig had built when the second little pig saw the wolf coming he ran inside his house and shut the door the wolf knocked on the door and said little pig little pig let me come in no no said the little pig by the hair of my chinny chin chin i will not let you come in then i'll huff and i'll puff and i'll blow your house in said the wolf so he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed the house of sticks fell down the two little pigs ran fastly towards the third little pig's house and hid themselves there the next day the wolf walked further along the road he came to the house of bricks which the third little pig had made when the third little pig saw the wolf coming he ran inside his house and shut the door the wolf knocked on the door and said little pig little pig let me come in no no said the little pig by the hair of my chinny chin chin i will not let you come in then i'll huff and i'll puff and i'll blow your house in said the wolf so he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed but the house of bricks did not fall down the wolf was very angry but he pretended not to be he thought this is a clever little pig if i want to catch him i better need to think of some clever idea the wolf started walking slowly towards the stairs and jumped on the roof The little pig saw it from his window and was very frightened but he said nothing. He put a big pot of water and lit fire in the chimney. The wolf climbed on the roof and began to come down the chimney.
the little pig took off the lid from the pot. Into the pot fell the wolf with a big splash. The wolf started crying for help. Ah, help! Help! I'm burning! Save me! Ah, help! The kind little pig called the doctor and sent the wolf to hospital. Finally, once the wolf was gone, all three pigs hugged each other with joy. The two pigs thanked their clever brother for saving their lives. Now they understood the value of hard work. Whenever they were lazy, they worked hard like the big brother. And from now on, they lived happy and a safe life. Once upon a time there lived a lion in a forest. One day after a heavy meal he was sleeping under a tree. After a while there came a mouse and he started to play on the lion. Suddenly the lion got up with anger and looked for those who disturbed his nice sleep. To his surprise, he found a small mouse trembling with fear. The lion grabbed it in his fist and tried to kill it. Tiny scared mouse requested the lion to forgive him. The lion felt pity and left it. The mouse ran away quickly. Another day the lion was caught in a net by a hunter. The mouse heard lion roaring for help. He came running and cut the net helping lion to escape. Thereafter the mouse and the lion became friends. They lived happily in the forest afterwards. Moral of the story a friend in need is a friend indeed